Prince Harare. His mega illusions have stunned audiences around the globe. Where Western medicine fell short, acupuncture took over. And have you ever wondered whether your mate was perfect for you? From the boundaries of the universe to the depth of your soul, embark on a journey through the unknown and unexplained as we explore mysteries, magic, and miracles. Hello and welcome. I'm Patrick McNee. Today, we'll see how the age-old practice of acupuncture is keeping up with modern times, and we'll take you on a psychic shopping spree. But first, join me as I attempt to apprentice with one of the great illusionists of our day. If we drop a pencil into a glass of water, it looks as though the pencil has a bend in it. We've created an illusion. Magicians are adept at using illusions to astound and entertain us. We talk to one of the most creative illusionists performing today to try and discover a few tricks of the trade. Enter center stage, Franz Harari. His mega illusions have stunned audiences around the globe. Harari successfully combines rock and magic to create his own Magic Rocks the World tour, which has made him an international celebrity. In a televised event watched by millions, Harari made the space shuttle simply disappear. We caught up with Harari and his crew preparing for a show. Harari offered to give us a close-up look at some of his latest illusions. If the guys are now setting up to do another show, I'd actually like to show you a brand new illusion. And if it's all right with you, if we could yeah. bring your camera in tight. Brandy, lovely. Um, this is so new, I don't even really have a name for it yet. But if, if you're up for it, I can actually kind of break it in with you, kind of making you the magician. Well, I don't want to muck it up for you. No, we'll call this Patrick's Illusion, all right? <laughs> lovely, I'd love it. To begin with, if you'll step around to the back and kind of show the area empty, so that there's nothing inside here. Oh, no yeah. mirrors, trap doors. Hello, nothing here. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Right? Just yeah. step around to the front. I have a blue tarp there. If you'd be so yeah. kind as to grab that, grab we'll pick that. that right up, put it right over the top of the device. The and as we do this, I'm going to ask you for some magic words, anything oh, at all. Yeah. I don't know many. Abracadabra. Abracadabra, that'll yeah. work for me. If you'd like, just go ahead and grab hold of the cloth. Yes. And yank it right off. Let's My see what you got. goodness, no. Go for oh. it. Oh, very nice. <laughs> that is quite extraordinary. Harari is the first world-class magician ever to create all his own illusions. When I began in magic, like all young uh, aspiring magicians, I worshipped Harry Houdini and one of his big illusions was to walk through a brick wall and a few years ago I thought to myself uh, I'd like to walk through a wall but I mean that's been done what else is there and I thought about perhaps walking through a sheet of glass or a mirror and I was telling some of the dancers and this uh, one of the dancers said yeah that's no big deal but if if you're really cool you'd walk through me and I thought, well that works even better for me really so I went back to the drawing board and what I figured out is kind of a 90s version of of walking through an object, only in this case I'm, I'm passing my body through another human being. I asked Harari how he first became involved in magic. Magic kind of just happened by accident. I got a magic set when I was 13 years old, and it just kind of stuck with me, really, and it developed into this. I began as a designer designing illusions, principally for rock concerts, music videos, uh, that genre. My single big break was in 1984 with the Jacksons. Michael Jackson uh, gave me a chance to do all of the magic for the Victory Tour. And after that, I um, kind of developed a friendship there and off of that was able to create magic for you know, countless other rock stars, his sister Janet, Bobby Brown, Stevie Wonder, MC Hammer, Alice Cooper, I just did Earth, Wind & Fire. And uh, I mean, I, you can tell it's kind of rubbed off a little bit. Ferrari is probably most famous for what are called mega illusions the manipulation of large objects. In this mega illusion, he's going to try and make a jet appear on the runway. As you can tell, all shot in one take, live. There's absolutely no camera trickery in any of this because it's all, well, that's the difference between magic and special effects. 
special effects. You can play digitally with everything you want. But for magic to truly be magic, it must be a live art form. It must be true to the human eye. The biggest problem for myself to overcome as an illusionist today is not the magic. It's not making the impossible seem credible, but rather making an audience watching this at home on their television accept the fact that it is truly live. Look, we're here. Is there something you can do now? Actually, I would be delighted to. Do you have a, a dollar bill, a five, a ten, a one, anything really at all? It's I important. The one's the most likely. That's, it's important one. Yeah, it's, a, it's important that we know it's your dollar bill. It's ah, not a, yes. one of those trick dollar bills we've heard so oh, much no, about. No. Uh, and if I may borrow your... Uh, your brandy snifter. Yeah. I'm gonna try to change money into gold. Okay. Check it out. Oh my. For you. Goodness. There's your dollar bill, sir, and a new pet. And a new friend. Isn't that wonderful? Not satisfied with making a goldfish appear, Franz wanted to show me how he could divide a lady into nine pieces. And he asked me to help him. Check that oh, out. Oh. Solid. Absolutely solid. solid. It is. It really is. All right. Ooh. Love that part. Oh, cool. Let's do it again. Monty. Again? What am I going to do? Play Mr. Magician, just kind of flip it around, make it look like you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I do, where do I put it? Can I put it down? Beautiful. Oh, my God, Let's Marilyn. See I can't did. stand it. What? You got it. <laughs> I got it. You actually got it. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, Goodness. Nice. This side here. Oh. Got that. This is where we remove all of the blades. I'm going to push that right up. Right. There you go. Let's let her out. Back in one piece. Whoa. He did pretty good. Big round of applause for the magical, the amazing Mr. Patrick, right My. here, live in 3D. <laughs> That's the most frightening thing I've ever been through, to see Marilyn all over the place like that and still living. And remember, never reveal the secret. Oh, it's of fun. course, if you do... I don't know it. Exactly. As if I would. Exactly, exactly. I certainly don't know it. Goodness. Thank you so much, Brian. The pleasure is mine, sir. It really is. It's <laughs> lovely. Expect to see a lot more of Franz Harari and his incredible mega illusions in the future. Harry Houdini was arguably the greatest escape artist of all time. Mediums of the day were convinced that Houdini used psychic powers to escape his chains, but he vehemently denied it. When Houdini performed in England, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was fascinated by what he termed Houdini's occult powers and invited Houdini to attend a seance. There, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's wife went into a trance and claimed to be the spirit of Houdini's dead mother. Houdini was skeptical, especially as his mother spoke only Yiddish. Houdini doubted, even in the presence of the creator of Sherlock Holmes, that his mother could have acquired such perfect English. For centuries, Chinese healers have known the benefits of acupuncture. It's preventative, holistic, and completely natural. Now, people from all around the world are learning the same. Can acupuncture help? where Western medicine leaves off. Acupuncture is a curious healing process known to the Chinese for over 2,000 years. Although the sight of needles can be alarming, expertly placed ones shed no blood and perform wonders. In the heart of Chinatown in Los Angeles, Dr. Wai Chi Hung has been doing acupuncture for over 35 years. Although he treats patients with anything from headaches to strokes, when I visited, he was about to give acupuncture to a man who woke up one day with his face partially paralyzed. So that side of his yeah. face? Yeah, this side mm -hmm. is paralysis. Alejandro Mendez has come for treatment only five times, but already he's regained some oh, of the movement in his face.
Dr. Han, how many needles are you going to use on them? Uh, this patient will use eight needles. Acupuncture is based on the theory of the body's latent energy called chi. Currents flow through the body like a river, but when there are blockages, problems arise. The needles are placed to open the gates in the river while a small amount of electricity is applied to stimulate the needle. Before the use of electricity, acupuncturists had to twist the needles. How long a procedure is this? It's about 20 minutes. Do you numb the areas before you put the needles in? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> Not necessary. These two points, yeah, the chain nails, it's along the arm to the face. The body has an intricate network of channels where the chi flows. The doctor has a choice of points that can either benefit the condition, affect the organ's function, or harmonize the five phases of the body. Yeah. This one connect to the stomach. Mm -hmm. These channels, these channels connect to the stomach. So if I so, came to you with a stomach problem, you would be doing my leg to reach yeah, my stomach? Yeah, Okay. Mm. What about the heart, if I came to you with a heart problem? Heart problem? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, this point. Dr. Hung's partner and wife also does acupuncture. She helped one woman recover fully from a stroke. When she came, she's very, very weak and uh, cannot walk, very skinny. When I first stroke, I went to the hospital and uh, for, for four days, they cannot do anything and they let me go home. She told me, and four days cannot eat, throw up, throw up. Okay, very severe condition, very bad. What did the stroke do to you? Uh, I paralyzed on left side. When I put the needle on the head, I said, please hold up your leg. And then she hold up the left side, the paralyzed. And this was on the first treatment? Yeah. Does that hurt? No, no. She never complained. If uh, paralysis, only the physical therapy exercise is a very slow, I think so, very slow. So combined, need the acupuncture and the herbs and exercise and the food, and she recover getting getting better. Charlie is another example of an amazing recovery. Where Western medicine fell short, acupuncture took over. And when you first came to get acupuncture, could you move your leg? Ah, before, it's so hard to walk, much painful, and he helped me. Do you have some pictures of what, uh, what you looked like when you first came in? Yes. Can I see them? Uh, yes. See? No, your leg is just totally straight here. No, you look like you're in a lot of pain. Yes. My face can tell you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> After this, I can dance, I can went to, uh, to the party to enjoy my life, see. Charlie gave us a demonstration of what she can do now. Her remarkable healing proves how little we truly know about the mysteries of the body. Many have written Dr. Hung praising him for his work. Some have been able to quit smoking, others reverse impotence. Dr. Hung has received letters from people of all walks of life. One man completely regained the use of his hand that was paralyzed in an accident. After three treatments, his strength began to return almost immediately in his little finger. His only complaint was that he didn't see Dr. Hung sooner. Acupuncture is not only good for injuries and problems of the nervous system, but it's effective in weight loss as well. Is this for losing weight? Yeah. Oh, my. That's yes, pretty dramatic. The treatments change the taste of food, controlling the appetite. This man lost 10 pounds after just five visits. With such convincing proof of the results of acupuncture, I decided to try. Cigarette taste not the same as before, you know. 
So it, it alters the, the taste, or does it make you sick when you smoke, or what? And because the taste is not good, so you don't want ah, okay. to smoke <laughs> okay. anymore. Does it hurt? <laughs> A little bit. I cannot lie. Whether Dr. Hung's treatment helps cut down my smoking remains to be seen, but with so much proof, there's little room for doubt. You see them here and there, and lately, psychic stores seem to be growing in both size and number. While they've generally been categorized as bookstores, you'll find much more than books here. Let's take a look. The Psychic Eye Bookshop in Los Angeles, run by Mary Kara, is the country's largest store for your psychic needs. It's a good thing, too. I mean, have you ever wondered whether your mate was perfect for you? Well, who hasn't? Well, I had to find out, so let's check out the crystals. What's nice about the stones and just a lot of the things in metaphysics in general is you could use your own judgment behind to kind of see what works for you and what feels right and improvise from that point and that's uh, really what's most important is you have a connection and how is it used uh, most people will have a definite uh, problem or an issue in mind and they'll get the different crystals and stones to help enhance that quality or to help correct something. For example, say someone's having a hard time communicating with their mate, they might slip one of these stones under their pillow or keep one in their pocket. So you have to have it on your person at all time or you have to have it on the person that you would like to have the effect on? Either or. Do each of these stones have different each, powers? Or? Each has a different power, a different representation. If you uh, know that what the different colors represent, then it's easy to understand what the different stones represent. For example, a very popular stone is a rose quartz. Of course, that's for love. Mm. So that goes well. I'll take one of those. <laughs> okay, love the crystals. But it was time to get busy with the heavy-duty stuff. I mean, I was a man who had to strike oil. I'm an Aquarius. Now, is there any significance difference between the oils here? They look different colors. They're right? all uh, blended specifically for that sign. I see. According to traditional uh, formulas. Okay. What about, uh, I don't, is this civet? Is that how that's pronounced or civet? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is that exactly? Civet, they say, comes from a cat. Enough said on that. <laughs> Though I trusted Mary's opinion, I couldn't fathom the thought of having odored a cat on my person. The candles. Hmm. I would get the female candle and light it and, and rub it on the back, is that what right. you're saying? For example, okay. if you're doing a candle burning ritual for love, we could all use a little love, right? We all could. You would could uh, use a lot, actually. Say you have a, a specific person in mind or you just want to draw women to you, mm -hmm. you would uh, you know, write the person's name in the back, you'd get yourself your love oil, track love oil. And again, you have to focus on what it is you're looking to do. Put a little oil on the back of the candle, starting in the center, rubbing up and then down. Now, what if I got the fast luck oil and rubbed it on her back? Would that be... That would totally make things things? come quicker. Obviously, I was losing it. But it was time to look into one of the more useful forms of psychic direction, tarot. What is your personal belief is the accuracy to tarot? Again, person? it depends on how a person uses it. The tarot is considered a pictorial representation of the universe. They say the subconscious mind works in symbols or in pictures, not in language necessarily. So these pictures help unlock your intuition and help you tune in to what it is you're looking to answer. Well, let me ask you, you do, a, you do a reading with the tarot cards and it tells a person a particular direction or purpose or something mm -hmm. like that. But then if you did it five to ten minutes later, you get a whole different reading, is that right? You can, although it's, it's, it's really uncanny how you'll find that you're going to end up pulling the same cards. And I've done that time and time again. Shuffled the cards. There's certain ones that are pulled and did it again, and the same cards keep coming up. So there's really? got to be something to it. I love Mary. You know, her store has become so popular that we had to go to her annex next door for more self-help items. We have yoga. We have massage. We uh, have Be a Better, be a better Lover tape. We Where's that? Tapes. Where's that? Where's that? Now here's a tape I, I would probably get. This is called Massage Your Mate. Now this is actually I'd like to get this for, for my girlfriend. I think she could. This was it. I had to know. Mary gave me a reading and told me what the cards had in store for me. 
Was I in for a shock? Uh, in fact, there's a variety of people, but uh, definitely, uh, you, you will be married again. Well, I don't mind that. And soon. Soon? Soon, in your mind, you might say, oh, it sounds good in about five years, but it'll be before that. Well, I asked for it. You've heard of recipes for dishes. How about recipes for health? Chinese herbs are mysteries in their usage and power and can feed the body's life force or nourish organs. One remedy good for building the kidneys is seahorse and sea dragon soup. By boiling these herbs for two to three hours, this broth can also help the blood circulation and is effective against impotence. It looks like the public's interest in psychic phenomena is much more than just an illusion. I'm Patrick McNee. Join me next time for more mysteries, magic, and miracles.